Why do people complain about the period so much? And this is what this video is about. I'm just going to give a little disclaimer. It's not just blood coming out of your ninny. I like the word ninny, um, so I'm going to use the word ninny. Also, I don't think YouTube will hopefully flag this video if I use the word ninny. So cheers to ninny. This is not a, oh, we have it so hard, feel so sorry for us. This is actually just education because a lot of people don't understand. I didn't really understand. I started my period quite late. I've only been having my period for four years now and I'm 21, so I started when I was 17, which is quite late for a lot of people. I have friends that started when they were 11. I don't even think I knew what it was when I was 11. I, I didn't know, and I don't think you fully do know until you've experienced it. It always helps being explained to and um, you know, it just helps being educated, I guess. It's just not, it's not just bleeding. That That isn't just it. Um, it's so much more than that. And no, not, not everybody knows, you know? Also, the things that I'm talking about isn't what everybody gets. Um, I've used a lot of my own experiences and I've used a lot of experiences I've read online and people I know. Um, but there might be more, there might be less, like everybody has a different period. Number one is hormones. Your hormones go crazy. Um, we have this thing called PMS, premenstrual syndrome, and it's very, very real. It can happen before your period, towards the end of your period, during your period. I tend to know when I'm going on to my period um, because I'll start getting the cramps and also have an app, Clue app, which is very good. But yeah, I, I just kind of feel and know when I'm starting to go on to my period because I start feeling very emotional. and. The thing is, it's really funny to look back on, but in that time, it's very real. Even though you're so aware, I'm only feeling like this because of my period, it doesn't stop it feeling any less real. I get in a really bad mood, like, I get very, very needy, I get very sad, I feel very sorry for myself. Um, I start, like, having a mini, like, life crisis, I wonder about what I'm doing with work, what I'm doing with life, money, like, everything. And even though it's my hormones, I'm very aware it's my hormones and I don't usually feel like this, I just, like, the sadness feels so real, it feels so sour, it feels so strong. Even though you're aware it's the hormones, it doesn't stop. Like, when you cry, the, you're still crying, like, the pain is still real. But it's even more confusing, because partly you sometimes don't understand why or how, it's just, ugh. You can feel sick. I have a few friends that I've known have thrown up from their period. It's quite a bad thing. And I think you should go to the doctors, because you can have a, um... There could be another reason for that. Periods can make you feel sick. I felt sick many times in my period. I haven't been sick, touch wood. Along with your period, there are other symptoms you can get. Appetite changes. You crave certain foods, and a lot of it is like chocolate tea, sugary, carby. But sometimes you don't even have an appetite. I personally, first couple of days, my appetite's really small, um, which is kind of crap, because I can't really afford to not eat. <laughs> I'm so skinny. And then sometimes you literally, all you want to do is eat and eat and eat. Another thing you get is bloating. I haven't got bloating for a little while. I used to get bloating every single day, like even not on my period, but having a little while. Touch wood. Yeah, bloating. It's just sucky and you feel heavy and just uncomfortable and it's just not fun at all. I tend to get very thirsty on my periods. So like sometimes I just want to drink and drink and drink and drink and drink water and like it wake me up in the night and need to drink water. I have no clue why this is and it's not every time I have my period. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with the hormones. You can sweat a lot. I get very sweaty on my period. I don't know why. Like I could wake up in the night like very sweaty. You could get flushes. I sometimes get hot flushes. It's weird <laughs> it's just weird like hormones man they can they can mess you around <laughs> obviously you're dealing all this like while dealing with the pain while dealing with like the nausea or while dealing with the tummy like while dealing with the emotions so like it gets very overwhelming you get pain this is the most obvious one you get cramps but before i had my period i didn't really associate and when people were complaining i was like oh it's not that bad it is very very bad i never used to get cramps which is a weird one, like I get a little pain and be like, oh, my period pains. Now I full on get cramped. I think it's because my periods are more regulated. It really, really hurts and I, I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes um, a way to explain it is when you have a tummy bug and you need to go like right now and you have that really bad pain and you need to go. It's quite similar to that. Because sometimes when I'm starting my period, I don't actually know is this a period cramp or is this a dodgy tummy. 
Ah, oh, like sometimes it almost feels like you can feel it squeezing and it's very low down and it's just very painful. I also get pains on my legs when I have a period. I don't know why, but my legs ache and it's just painful. Some people have their ne necks aching, their backs aching. Like you do just feel very achy. In my personal opinion, they get better as your period goes on. First three days is the worst. Second day, second day is the worst. I've been like waking up crying at night sometimes. Whenever I have a period pain, I imagine that's what labour feels like, but I know it's not what labour feels like. And then I'm like, thank you for this period because it means I'm not gonna go in labour in nine months. And I'm like, how would I ever deal with labour? I don't know if I have a low pain threshold or mine are quite bad, but I don't know. It can mess with your tummy and your digestion. As I said, sometimes when I start my period, I don't know if I've just got a stomach bug or it's my IBS because it sometimes can give me an upset tummy. It sometimes can make people constipated. It isn't much fun because that is not what you want. And it's just not fun when you're also like bleeding up your nanny and it's just, oh. Last couple of times my periods have started with like a bit of an upset tummy. Not majorly, but it's just not nice. Your skin, um, hormones again. Uh, I always get really bad skin, I get spotty. And you know, it's not the end of the world, but I think you feel very like, self-conscious and just very self-aware and you feel very gross. Oh, it just doesn't help at all, <laughs> at all. Like I said, it's quite an embarrassing thing, um, especially if you talk about your periods. People sometimes react, go, oh, that's gross, like, don't talk about that, don't need to know. And I'm thinking, yeah, it, it, isn't, it isn't the nicest thing, but it happens for a reason. It happens because, you know, it's just the way your body works, but also remember, even though you hearing about it is gross, it's just as gross for us going through it. Um, and you do feel a bit gross, you feel a bit embarrassed, and you, like, oh, especially if you leak, leaked in my boyfriend's bed a few times, and I just feel so embarrassed, even though he's totally chilled by it. You feel just like ashamed of yourself. This leads me on to my next thing. You cannot control when you're period, like, it's not like we, you don't we it out. You don't, it's not, there's not like a stream to it. It, you go and that's it. I've heard like a lot of people think that it's like we in and you we it out. It's, no, and it comes from a total different hole that your we comes from, so. so it can lower your iron levels. Um, if your period is particularly heavy, it can lower your iron levels, which is not something you want to happen. It, it, it affects your health, and I have quite low iron levels, and they asked me, like, do you have heavy periods? And I was like, yeah, and they were like, that's probably why. And I was like, okay, <laughs> thank you, Mother Nature. You can't wear everything you want to wear, or you're very conscious of it, like going swimming, it is fine, but it's just that other panic, that other worry, wearing white is a worry, you're always like, checking yourself, it, it, it's a worry. And also, it's not very clear when it ends, like sometimes it ends, you put normal knickers on, and then it starts again. Like, the reason you're bleeding, you don't blink it in, but the reason you're bleeding is because your uterus is shedding itself. That's why it hurts so much, part of your body is shedding itself off. And that's why you're cramping, but I never associate that link, ever. But that's just a few things um, that I deal with, but I'm just letting you know it's much more than blood that's it's so much more than that but we deal with it and this isn't feel sorry for us it's literally just education if any other people like if there's different things that i've missed out or different things you've experienced let me know down below and i hope you like this video a bit of an educational one a bit like maybe a bit tmi but you know me i love talking about my periods and i always get told off and i'm thinking why i have to go through it like don't tell me off but you know Imagine if you had it coming out of your willy. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.